Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play. In the previous episode, we got our build on in establishing a mini home that is of a modern cabana and in the event that you missed it through the power of YouTube cards, one will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen that you can click or tap on at any point in time throughout this video or if you decide to browse what is beneath the like and subscribe buttons on this video then you'll be able to find a few links and one of which will take you to that video but the first thing that I want to show you is we have a little bit of magic going on within this vanilla plus Minecraft let's play world so as you may be able to tell right before us we have a command block and on top of it there's a pressure plate now I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly walk on top of it and boom we have been teleported to a mysterious place and if we just go ahead and actually continue to follow this passageway that leads out from the tunnel you'll see that we are now back at spawn and just to prove that if we look just over the cliff side right here you'll see that we have our bountiful garden just over there but in the event that maybe there's a few hostile creatures that go bump in the night between there and here and we don't want to be so brave then we could just quickly run back down into this little cave and then walk onto this pressure plate that is right beneath the sign that reads spawn house but in the event that we would like to go to the most recent project that is the ancient roman rustic village then we could just go ahead and walk on top of this pressure plate so just for an example this will take us to the spawn house and boom we're already here we're not quite at the bountiful garden but we are at our spawn house now in the event that we would like to return back to that cave which by now if you couldn't tell is going to be the focal point of this vanilla plus world or the hub if you will then we could just quickly run down through here and right before we get to the nether portal we can go ahead and walk on top of this pressure plate and boom we are back within the cave once again now let's go ahead and just take a quick little trip to the ancient roman rustic village because i actually would like to pick something up from there and that was a little odd to see the world glitch like that nope what i want is not in that chest here we go this is what i want so what i would like to do in this video in this episode i mean is get my build on and establishing yet again another mini home and this is going to be of a modern design however um i'm not gonna really let it be i'm not gonna build it into a modern home instead it's probably gonna be used for something entirely different but i'm not entirely sure if that is going to be the case by the end of this episode it may turn out to be just another modern home that has been evacuated from the zombie apocalypse but let's just go ahead and just quickly run over through here maybe what i want is up here um Hang on a second. I'm actually trying to remember what it is that I want to grab from here. Oh, that's right. That's right. I want to grab some more logs because of all the logs that I have, I don't really have that many oak, believe it or not, compared to the dark oak and then obviously the spruce. And it looks like I'm going to have to farm some birch logs in between acts for this episode or maybe in between episodes this one and the next one but you know what it doesn't hurt to go ahead and grab some grass just make sure that we have it properly stored and whilst we're at it let's also go ahead and grab some dirt blocks because well this is my only shovel that has silk touch and as you can tell already it's pretty much slightly below halfway in terms of duration so i'm not entirely sure how much longer we're going to have it because after all if you're like me when it comes to using a tool that has a specific enchantment that you absolutely need or maybe you don't need but you at least prefer to have well if you don't have mending on it then that tool is going to break fairly quickly but what i'm going to do now ladies and gentlemen is i'm going to continue to gather up gather the materials and resources that i'm going to need for what we're going to be building in this episode and then i'll see you guys back over at the new project site which is our mini homes i know what you're thinking what's this handsome devil doing here well i am going to be getting my build on and before i go ahead and do so let's just go ahead and quickly grab an x and in the event that we need it let's go ahead and grab our enchanted stone pickaxe and then let's go ahead and just quickly check in here we're going to be using 
yeah we're going to be using some spruce in this we're also going to be using some dark oak so what i'd like to do real quick before we actually get our build on in constructing the new mini home is i just want to go ahead and make a small bridge now some of you may be wondering why are we going to have a bridge in a zombie apocalyptic section of our vanilla plus world well in case you can't tell and maybe i have to zoom in through the power of optifine right over there right next to my mini helm that is a modern cabana we have a long-faced friend that is dressed in diamond clad and unfortunately we don't have a safe way to get him from there to over here so that is why like i said i want to go ahead and just create a small bridge now i'm just going to build a bridge with you on camera and i'm not going to worry about doing any landscaping whatsoever i'm going to wait to do that in between the second and third act of this episode and for some reason i thought i saw a creeper out of the corner of my eye over there but i must have been mistaken or perhaps maybe because it's fairly late at night um i'm starting to get a little tired so i want to go ahead and just begin to craft up some more of these spruce slabs and i'm going to keep this bridge fairly simple mainly because i really want to develop my building skills in the sense and only doing only by creating something great and using and building something that says a lot with and using as little as i can hopefully that makes a little sense basically what i'm trying to do here is say a lot with a build by using as little as i can i'm trying to adapt my simplistic approach to doing things and so that we can go ahead and have something new and fresh and something that isn't so repetitive so when i say i'm going to be building a small little bridge you guys don't have to think to yourselves I already know what he's gonna build or i have a rough idea as to what he's gonna build i want to try and keep things fresh spice things up if you will but let's just go ahead and quickly grab our diamond shovel that also has the silk touch on it and let's just i guess i will do a little bit of landscaping here on camera with you so i'm thinking at least for this hillside because i want to let this be my only way for a player to get in and out of our little safe haven right here but Let's just quickly go ahead and create somewhat of a stairwell that leads up to about right here. Now, I want to try and maintain the even number in terms of width. So like for right here, it's two blocks wide. Right here, we'll have the pathway be two blocks wide. And then we can go ahead and begin to curve it out over here. So then we can go ahead and let it look something like this. Now, whether or not i want to maintain the gradual incline i'm not entirely sure but it looks like that's how things are going to be so then we can come right up to here and then boom we have direct access to our ladder now i know i said that i want to build a small bridge so that our long-faced friend that is dressed in diamond clad will have an easy way to get to and from this area but um I kind of want to maintain the safety that is utilizing that is made up from this wall utilizing our variation of cobblestone blocks so i'm just going to leave this part as it is i'm pretty sure the horse won't take any fall damage if we just quickly ride up on top of this part of the wall and then softly land right there but since it's getting to be dusk and also it is still raining i don't really feel too comfortable when getting my build on during the night and also with the inclement weather so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to begin to do so and when i bring it back we're going to most likely have the frame of this structure fully completed and then we can go ahead and begin to talk about this new build so i know what you guys are thinking why is it still raining and most importantly why am I recording when it is raining in game? Right now in real life, the Nor'easter has come and gone and I am safe. Unfortunately though, some peeps that I know of are not so lucky and they are without power for like the third or second day. The Nor'easter came through 
on a Friday, and it is now Sunday as I record this video for you. So, that's besides the point. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the new mini home that we have right here. So, again, it's going to have a modern look to it, and I know I said in the previous act that I was going to have the frame established, but as you can tell, we have more than just the frame. We have the windows, we have the roof, and we even have the flooring and part of the ground floor layout already established. I was going to say laid out, but that would be like a, uh, a little hard to say. We have the layout laid out. So let's go ahead and quickly review what's going to be going on down here. This is where the main room for the structure is going to be at. And the reason why I decided to place down the slabs in the lower half block space is because this gives us a little more room for us to jump around and have some fun or in the event that a zombie were to come by and maybe give us an unwanted hug, then we can at least just begin to jump around him so that way then we don't get bit or hugged and then we can be on our merry little way. But as we begin to walk up this little cobblestone stairwell, you'll then see that the second floor is a little more compact, but that's okay. And here's why. Right here, we have a nice little enchanting station, and then we have two books. And although this may not be the most efficient enchanting station, at least we have one already here within this new project site. Now, in the event, that it's getting to be nighttime and we want to lay our head to rest and make it the day, then we can do so safe and sound within this warm green bed right here. But in the event that maybe we're done scavenging for the day and we would like to just get some fresh air and relax for a short amount of time, we can step out onto the master balcony right here. And then if we have someone with us and maybe we want to have a little personal space and get away from them, then they can at least chill out on this small balcony parallel to the master one right over there. So I know it's raining and I generally say that when recording a Minecraft Let's Play, it's usually not a good idea to record when it's raining or at nighttime, both in real life but also in games. So I think at this point now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to quickly take my shovel. I want to create another path grass block I think it's called I'm not entirely sure and I want to go ahead and begin to do some landscaping both over there and over here and tidy up the place a little bit and make the ground floor look pretty inhabitable at least for a zombie apocalypse setting so I'll be back for the fourth and final act peeps take a moment to look back or not look back but if you'd like to rewind this video and enjoy it again then feel free to do so but take a moment to just Visualize how this looked at the beginning of this episode and now take a look at it and whilst you're doing that I'm going to cross over this small little wooden bridge and now do the same thing for this sec for this side of the riverbed. If I do say so myself, I am not only improving my landscaping skills along with my building skills, but I'm just overall having fun getting back into the swing of things, which is recording these Vanilla Plus Minecraft Let's Plays for you, along with the return of Minecraft Let's Build content. That's right, peeps, by the time this video goes out, a new Minecraft Let's Build video has already appeared on the channel, so if you'd like to check that out, then feel free to click or tap on the YouTube card that will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen, but also if I remember to, no guarantees, then I'll be sure to provide a link to it right beneath the like and subscribe buttons of this video. So go ahead, get your build on, recreate it within your own single player world or even on a server that you're playing on, take a screenshot of it with yourself in it, and then send it to me over on Twitter at Vanilla Raccoon. Whilst we're talking about Twitter, I have a bit of a question slash challenge for you, and that is, I would like to place down some statues in this area along with this side as well. However, I don't really know how I could go about doing so. I kind of would like to have a statue that resembles a sad goblin, and I'll get into that in a future episode. But for starters, at least, I want to have statues of goblins, and I want one to at least be sad. So I'd like to set it right here next to the dead zombie horses. That's a play on words, dead zombie horses. Anywho, I want to set it right next to the pen that's going to be housing our zombie horses along with our long-faced friend that is dressed in diamond clad. But seeing as how it's getting to be nighttime, let's go ahead and seek shelter within this new modern house. So, I heard an enderman go voomp. 
I don't know where said Enderman went. But anywho, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the interior decorating is going to look like. Now, I will admit it does appear to be a little rustic, and maybe that's because I'm still coming off of the previous project that we had in this Vanilla Plus Minecraft Let's Play series, which is our ancient Roman rustic NPC village transformation job. But nevertheless, at least I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. And even in here where we have a little sunroom, it's pretty claustrophobic actually now that I step inside of here and look around, but at least we have a table and we have a chest on top of it so this is where the person who's going to be sleeping down here who will be living down here can sleep at and then right above his bedside we have a two by one painting and in any event that maybe he or she has multiple wardrobes on them then they can go ahead and just stack them on these armor stands right here and now that we have that out of the way let's just quickly run up these stairs and get safe from the hostile creatures that go bump in the night that may be spawning and say we have a bit of a bohemian that lives up here maybe this is a raccoon of the vanilla variety who likes to not only get his build on but play with some artsy stuff and creating short films of wildlife through the power of augmented reality features within certain games on his mobile device but Nevertheless, maybe a bohemian lives up here and he just enjoys painting or drawing pretty pictures. So that's why we have all these paintings up here as well. As you can tell, we have the one right here. Then we have two in this room. And also he has some books stacked next to each other on two different book. Pardon me there. He has books stacked next to each other on two different bookshelves. And seeing as how it appears to be getting... Well, the weather isn't letting up and there seems to be a zombie trying to make his way to the villager that is over there. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and begin to end things here because I'm going to have to save that villager. So, without a further ado, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing to your new home for entertainment. But do not forget to turn on notifications. That way you won't miss a future upload. My name is Vanilla Raccoon. You have been awesome. I would like to wish you a happy day and peace out. Oops, I didn't mean to break that painting.